So, Sonny mentioned going to the schoolhouse to uh, clear out some stuff there. There might be stuff in that safe if I can get in. Um, so that, that's that's something. So I can try that and get some caps. Uh, but before I do that, there's a couple things I want to do. One, I'm going to go check this graveyard out before I go to bed. Because it's getting late. I'm going to need a little bit of sleepy time. And then I'll check that schoolhouse out in the morning. But I want to check this graveyard out real quick and see if there are any clues. More clues about, uh, about that asshole that shot me. Right in the head for no good reason other than to... I was... Being a messenger. You know, there there's, used to be an old saying, apparently nobody cares about it anymore, it was called, don't shoot the messenger. But no, they just want to shoot the messenger. I can now fast travel. Oop de doo Guess what? No, I can't, because I'm hardcore. Oh, yeah. Hmm. So, I might need that at some point. Alright, so I'm guessing this is where I was going to get buried. And that's something. Oh. Distinctive cigarette butts. Yeah. Seven. Pretty sure I need a decent amount of these. Oh, 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 oh. I saw it for a second there. No, it fell through the world. No, it didn't. Gotta be very. Where was it? It was like right there. Oh, come on. There it is. It was a special floating cigarette pipe. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, man. That's hilarious. Okay. Uh, you know what? I just realized. I'm about re not that smart. Even though my intelligence score says otherwise, I could have swore I already had it set in here to, uh, I guess not. Alright. Um, oh, you know, let's, let's get rid of that too, because I don't want a visor overlay. I mean, it's pretty cool and all for just playing sometimes, but since I'm going to be wearing some sort of glasses all the time, yeah. Not doing it. Anyhow, there we go. <laughs> Oops. Forgot about that part. Now yeah, well, that should. It might not take effect immediately. Oh, it did take effect immediately. Okay. Awesome. Oh, that's much better. Alright. You know, so I need to set some stuff on to. <sighs> Let's see here. Set you to one. Well, I got the dynamite, so I might as well. Well, no, because I got a dynamite key, so I don't need to worry about setting it. What else should I set? Should I set anything else? Oh, yeah, I probably got off a guy. Now, let's see. Let's set off some of these other, just in case I run out of ammo. So we'll put you on three. Actually, you know what we should put on three? No, we'll put stim packs on three. No, no, no. If I do that, I'll be hitting that too much. We'll put stim packs on five. Alright, and uh, three. No, let's do the uh, shotgun for three. Put you on four. And uh, binoculars, we'll put on six. And seven and eight, I'll hold off, because I'm. Well, you know what? Let's put a machete there just so I have a melee weapon. Put you on seven. I don't know why I really need a melee weapon, but. Who knows? Now I got the shovel. God, I do. Wow, it is dark. Can you some of that cat eye? I thought I bought some cat eye. You know what? I guess I did not. Yeah. Whatever. Goodness gracious, it is dark. I guess that's New Vegas over there. Before I venture deeper into the wasteland, I may revise my character. No, I will not revise my character. My character is just fine, so meh. I guess I hit some border wall. I don't know. Eh, that says, hey, you went pretty far. Uh, your character, you, you might want to 
make sure you're cool with it. Yeah, I'm a grave digger. So what? I don't care. Hey man, you can find some good stuff sometimes. I mean Don't know really what I do, psycho. Why don't you bury psycho with somebody? Is that Are they trying to say something about this person? Was uh so and so a psycho? And they're just being you know, twelve gauge rounds. I wanna know about that, man. Was that purposeful or <laughs> Kind of—is that a ritual here? And uh, oops, I want to do that. I want to grab the prickly pear fruit and the, the pear cactus fruit. All right, I think that's all the graves. Looks it. It is. Yeah, nine twenty-two. All right. You know, we gotta find a place to sleep though. That's the thing. Well, you know what? Uh, Victor Shack, uh, there's a bed there I could sleep in. I think that might be a good idea. That's exactly what we'll do. We will go there for the night and then check the schoolhouse in the morning. Alright, had a good night's sleep. Had some food to eat. All a treat. Yeah, anywho. Uh, yeah, just spent the night in Victor's home. And now we're gonna go, uh, check out the schoolhouse. What uh, we can find in there. Alright. Oh. I always forget it automatically comes up when you leave a when you leave a place. Six in the morning, the sun's already up. Or it's coming up, but yeah, right there. Hmm. Makes sense, I guess. Okay, this is the old schoolhouse, huh? Is that the which one's the main entrance? Is it that? Not that it matters, but I just want to go in through the front. I feel like this is the front door. They didn't say they were critters. Yep. Critters there indeed are. Ashtray! What kind of school was this? Well, that's life, don't mind if I do. Caps. This is definitely run down, I'll tell you what. Car. A lot of salesman weeklies. What are these mansions? They got anything on them? Four legs. No. Shoot bomb. Caps. Box. Programmer's Digest, just in case. I think I will use. You know, let's just do this to get the um, that out the way. All right. We're gonna hack though. 
Obviously, since uh, I am more of a computer whiz, sciencey type, this would be the way to go. Alright, four attempts left. Okay, how about this? is two with seven. Alright. Baller. Didn't even have to use any codes to remove dumb duds. Yeah, I know, I sound special. Or whatever. I might do the, uh,. I've been debating on getting the, the easy hack lock pick mod just to save time, but I don't know. I don't really think it's necessary. Here it's great to unlock it. Why, thank you. You are doing right. Safe. Nice. Nice. From Cybernetic Sturgery, Standard Edition. Hell oh, yeah, they wanted me to find a book so I could teach other doctors. How to perform cybernetic surgery. Well, not teach them so much as like say, here, here's the book. Use your current knowledge to, uh, yeah. <laughs> All right. So, do we have anything else in here while I'm, uh, while I'm looking around? I miss anything on the ground? Scorch book. Mm. Oh, ooh, yeah. Sleep on that bed right between the mantis eggs. Okay, here. Oh, there's, there's a pencil. Bloody journal page. You. Let's take a look at that. Got a quest from it. Let's go look. Let that pop up first. No. I just cut it off. Alright, bye. Oh, after school special. Find Paul Edgecomb and show him the note. Yeah, wasn't that that, that repair place next to something? Edgecomb repair? Yeah, it sounds like. Uh, let's check this uh, note out. Personal journal, William Wharton. William sounds all official, don't it? <laughs> well, everybody just calls me Billy. Been traveling for what seems like months, but it's really only been a few weeks since I left Shady Sands for New Vegas. I decided to start this journal just in case anything happens to me. Maybe somehow word can get back to my wife and boys. I'm an out-of-work carpenter, and since there's no work in Shady Sands, I've decided to travel to New Vegas in hopes of finding steady work and a means by which I can provide for my family. Karen said I was insane to try to make the trip, and she's probably right. But luckily, I managed to hook up with a merchant caravan heading east, so at least I'm not footing it alone. I figure we're only a couple days from that NCR outpost the merchant was talking about. Good Springs, day five or so. Not sure uh, the date, but been in Good Springs for a few days now. Been sleeping in an old abandoned camper on an old rotten mattress. Geckos are everywhere here, and most likely because of the fresh water source of the area. Haven't found work, but there's food and water, so I'm surviving. Living off the land. Never thought I'd be much of a survivalist, but a couple of folks have taught me a thing or two along the way. Good Springs, day seven. Been here a week and finally found some work for Paul Edgecombe. Retired trader said he was away for a few days and just got back home. Offered to trade me a roof over my head for some easy work fixing up that old school right down my alley. Says I can bunk up there in exchange for working on the improvements. Looking up, Good Springs Day 10. Got a little change in my pocket finally. I've done a few odd jobs for Paul while his partner Dean has been away prospecting anything of value. They find old stuff, fix it up, and sell it for a nice little profit. Who knows, maybe Dean can teach me the ropes. Tomorrow I'm going to town to see what I can find. Maybe somebody will be hiring full-time work. Day 11. <laughs> I'm not going to make it. I can barely write. So much poison. Fingers cramping up. God, Cazadors. North Road. Got me good. Dying, I think. Fading fast. What was that? Something, something green in here. Oh, no. Can't move. Can't feel my legs. What was that? And that is where it ends. Oh, man. Oh, poor dude. Oh, that's, that's, oh, that's horrible. That's rough. All right, well, let's find this uh, Edgecomb guy and, uh, what was it? Yeah, let's get to this Edgecomb guy and, uh, oh, oh my goodness gracious. I'm on the side of the house. Where's that Edgecomb repair? It was around here, right? Pretty close. It was, yeah, Doc Mitchell's house. Yeah, yeah, that's right next to the school, isn't it? Yep. All right, so you're that Dean guy, but I gotta find find Paul, the owner. He's probably inside, isn't he? Yeah. Hope you don't mind. Uh... Okay. Oh, hey, there you.
you are. Welcome to Edgecombe Repair. Need something fixed, you can see Dean. I can do some trading with you soon, but waiting for stock right now. Fair enough. Um, did you know Billy Wharton? Found this note in the old school. I think he wrote it. Damn, how could we have missed that? Well, it was dark in there, and I guess that could have looked like another piece of trash. We found him dead in there a couple of nights ago, and we've been trying to figure out what the hell happened to him since. Yeah, uh, looks like it was Cazador's. Can I see that? Yeah, Doc said that's what he thought it was. Looks like he was right. Must have been trying to get to New Vegas up the north road. I told him nothing but death that way. God damn it, I told him. I freaking tell everybody. Don't take the north road out of here unless you're committing suicide, damn it. Hey, thanks for coming to see me. He seemed a good man for what time I knew him, and it helps a little knowing for sure what happened to him. That old bone orchard's filling up too quick lately. Guess not everybody as lucky as you are having nine lives and all. <laughs> yeah. If you only knew how lucky I was even just getting out west here. <laughs> Anyhow, um, yeah, sorry, sorry about your friend or worker or whatever he was. Um, so he was working on fixing up that old school. Yeah, he showed up and was begging for some work, trying to get his family out here from back west. He said, seemed nice enough, so I was giving the young man a hand up and a chance to show me his work ethic. Maybe I'd hire him for some more steady work if he was a go-getter, you know. We'd agreed to start fixing up the place and make it livable. I was going to let him bunk up inside the old place and work for me whenever I had other jobs for him. I thought it was a good deal. Make money from me when I had jobs and get a free place to stay while working with me. That sounds, sounds good to me. Um, you know, I could clean it up a bit and uh, do some work there if you let me, you know, let me, let me uh, bunk in there too. I mean, don't get me wrong, I could stay in Victor's shack, but it's kind of... It's a little cramped. I like a little bit more open, open space when I'm sleeping. Uh, but yeah, what do you say? You know, we could do that. Maybe there could be some caps involved. I don't know. Who knows? You get, you get what I'm saying, all right? Right now, there ain't nothing in there but a lot of junk and a dead man's mattress. You sure you're ready for this? It's going to be a lot of work. Well, I guess you can start by cleaning up the place and hauling off all the rubble, desks, and chairs. Throw them away with anything else you can pick up and keep what you want of course that'll give you a better look at that nasty floor there should be a mop some mop water or a braxo cleaner and detergent in there you can use to scrub the floor hopefully it's in decent shape after you get it all cleaned up i need you to pick up that old broken terminal and bring it to me oh yeah something else we need there's some wooden slats in there we need about 15 or so of they're the long straight pieces not the little cut up pieces of scrap wood okay not that you really need it, but I had a note all wrote down for Billy. See you, friend. All right. Yeah, I can. I can do that. Shoot. All right. So test chairs, the dumpster, fifteen slats, good ones, not the crap, and then uh, yeah, some cleanup and get the broken terminal. I think I can handle that. I think I can handle that indeed. Uh, before I do that, though, I am going to go see Doc Mitchell and get me an implant installed. I've always been looking to get an implant, but they didn't really have much of those uh, back back in uh, back in the old uh, VAB community out out in out east. And then uh, a lot of my travels never found anyone really that uh, knew much about it either. So I guess. You know, you get out here where it's a little bit more civilized, uh, kind of know. Doc, 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 doc. You want to learn a new skill? You know what they say, man. Learn it, 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 it the, 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 alright. Nope, oh, nope, oh, alright. Let's try this again. What was I trying to say? I was saying, you know what they say, is, the second you stop learning, you're dead, right? That makes sense, right? So guess what? I got something for you to learn. How are you holding up? Fair to Midland. But, uh, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here. Do, do some cybernetic surgery on me. How would you, how would you like to do that? I can teach you. 
Sure, I can help you out. See? We're teaching each other. Isn't that, br isn't that wonderful? Alright, so, Dr. Lane had that installed. That's my body. Yeah, yo. And I believe it is a head implant, if I call correctly. You know what? I know it doesn't matter which one I pick, but I like this one's kind of near the throat, and it's a voice modulator, so we'll do it in this side. <laughs> All right. Yeah, my barter and speech go up a little bit. That's good. Okay, I'll throw that. Let's see. And, uh, install it. 400 caps. 450. You know what? I think it's worth it. I think it's worth it. I got some things I can sell anyway, so... Yes. I am now a better, better speaker, kind of. Not really. Well, Doc, 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 I ain't done with you. How are you holding up? I'm holding up fine, um, but let me see what you got for sale, or see what I can sell you. Sure. All right. You got not much in the way of caps, but that's all right, because I'm going to buy some of these bags. Whoa. That seems good, Doc. Appreciate the business. You take care now. And uh, got didn't get any of my money back, but uh, that's alright. I'll make that up when I go see Chad. So, this is kind of how that is. I could also use, use a weapon repair kit as well. I'd have to actually show you that. How does that actually work? Do I just click on it? And... It's the weapon I have... Uh, um, equipped, didn't it? Which is good, because that's the weapon I had equipped, so. Right. I want to find a laser rifle. Pistol's nice, but I'd rather have a rifle. Yeah. Anyhow, thanks, Doc. Um, we're going to go get that stuff from Mr. Edgecomb. And, uh, so we're just going to clear that place out oh, this way. So we gotta get rid of the desks, the chairs, take them to the dumpster, and then uh, get some wooden stuff, and grab the floor, and grab the terminal. That is easy peasy, squeezy, and easy. If I see the slats, then yeah, there we go. See, I'll take them too. There's the slats, so these obviously these good looking pieces of wood, not these crap pieces of wood. Oh man, almost there. There we go. Right, we want to open it. Whew. Okay. That was it. Drop all the chairs and desks in there. Mm -hmm. This should hopefully be all of them. I think so, anyways. I didn't get a little doobly doo when uh, that happened, though. Did I miss a chair? A desk or something? No? No, I'm pretty sure I got them all. Okay, I guess I just gotta clean the floor now. Let's make sure it wasn't like a. Pick up the broke. Okay, yeah, so it's not even really in there. It's just I gotta clean them up, or else I probably can't clean the floor. I'm guessing that's what the deal is there. So, what was I need a Braxo, mop water, and. Detergent, I'm gonna guess. And look at that, everything is right where I need it. And there's another back door. Alright. Um Yep, yep, yep. Sounds good to me. Let's get it done. That Abraxo cleaner is powerful stuff. You use the Abraxo cleaner, detergent, and mop to clean up that nasty floor. It takes a little hard work, but eventually even the gooey stuff stuck to the floor cleans up nicely. You can tell Paul that the wood looks to be in pretty good shape for its age. I will. I will tell him just that. Well, hey, look at that. I even brought in some, some pretty rugs to put on top of the floor. That's how good my cleaning is. I, I still left the scrap wood and stuff on the floor, apparently. I, I can mop through that stuff. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. It'll all, it'll, it'll all go away when I actually, you know get more stuff going on inside the schoolhouse. 
Hey, hey, Paul. Mr. Edgecomb. It's all cleaned up. Watch out for the damn geckos down by the source. And I've heard there's powder gangers down on the road below that. Damn menaces. Yeah, sounds about right. Oh. Keep your powder dry, friend. Do I need to talk to Dean? Hey, Dean. Don't forget, if you need some repairs, nobody will fix it as good as me, and I need the money. I need the money, too. Um, no? Until next time. Wait, what am I... Oh, the derp. I gotta grab that computer. Duh. Oh, I'll go tell him I mopped up the floor and got the computer, but, you know, except for the part where I didn't actually grab the computer. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's take it up. Pick it up. I have successfully retrieved the broken terminal. Return to Paul with that in the wood. There we go. Alrighty, Mr. Edgecomb. Sir, I have found your terminal. Howdy. What can I do you for? Um, I got your computer terminal and uh, the 15 wooden slats that you needed. Well, that's fantastic. It sure Floor is. cleaned up pretty good, did it? That's good news. Sounds very sturdy for its age. I'll start working on that old terminal while you and Dean do something about those windows. All right, what about the windows? Yes, they're all busted and let the weather in, not to mention all kind of critters. Figures. So you and Dean are going to take them out and seal them up. That's what we need those wooden slats for. I found an old recipe for an old adobe mixture called Wonder Adobe. Should be tougher than a death claw's ass when it's all set up. <laughs> Just need to collect a few ingredients and mix it up at a workbench. There's one up by the store if you need it, or you can use the one inside. I already have the sand for the mix out in what's left of the shed, but you'll have to scrounge up the Wonder Glue in the water. Wonder Glue's around everywhere, and check down around by the spring for the water. Alright, sounds good. Oh, it is, and don't worry. Dean's a fine carpenter, so you won't have any trouble as long as you can pour sand, water, and wonder glue into a bucket. Oh, yeah, along with the wonder adobe, there's a few tools you and Dean are going to need. Just gather up everything on this list and tell Dean so he can help you with the demo and carpentry. See you later. Okay, so... Find wonder glue, sand, and tools. Alright, so I, I got a few things. Let's just uh, see what I do have. I do have three things of Wonder Glue. Okay. And I have a hammer. Okay. What else do I have? A tire iron, sledgehammer, three more things of Wonder Glue, the adobe sand, and the water buckets down by the source. Alright, so I'll come get the sand in the... Ooh. Come get the sand in the... Ooh. All right, just need one wonder glue. Now, I'll come get the sand in a bit, and uh, just when I get back. All right, well, you weren't kidding. Wonder glue uh, seems to be everywhere. I gotta get a hammer. I don't need a hammer. Need a sledgehammer. Sledgehammer. Get the hammer. Get the hammer. Yeah. Okay. Uh, don't hate on my wonderful singing. Um, abilities. Alright, let's see if we got some Wonder Glue over at Chet's place. And Dude, is this stuff just laying around everywhere? Like, that's just like, we'll throw some Wonder Glue around. <laughs> Alright, so I got the six Wonder Glues. Dang, that was... Alright, and I needed a sledgehammer, and a tire iron, tools, and then I needed the buckets. Sledgehammer. I'm have a sledgehammer. Somebody's got to have one in this town somewhere. You'd think, with all the work that's been done, I mean, the houses, yeah, they don't look the best, but... I mean, they, they're definitely weathered, is what I'm saying. But, I mean, somebody's got a sledgehammer, because I, I, I doubt they've been like this the whole time. I'm sure they've been worked on, you know what I mean? Gas station. Oh, yeah, speaking of, I should grab that stuff from the gas station now that's been been around there. Let's see. I'm trying to hop over a fence. Looks like there's a gate right here. 
<laughs> All right. You got one, Doc Mitchell. Luck be a lady tonight. Oh my goodness. All right. So what's that? Leaves me a water bucket and a not a crowbar. Tire iron, tire iron. Alright. Now, you know, let's head down to the source, get the water buckets. And I'll head back up here. Tire iron will probably, should hopefully be easy enough to find. And head south, right? Uh, yeah, okay. Alrighty, so let's see. We need to find ones that say they're water buckets. I mean, they're all water buckets, but I'm guessing we want some ones that are in decent condition that I can actually use. That's probably what they're trying to say. Okay. Ah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Fresh water. Water bucket. Water bucket. Mr. Water Bucket. Water Bucket. Alright. So I got my buckets. Right? So what am I missing? Oh, the sand, so, okay, so I need two sand, oh, that's right, two sand and tire iron, so, we're gonna head back up. Yeah, let's see, tire iron, I bet you Chet probably selling the tire iron, but I'll go grab that sand first and get that out the way, because it's closer, and, uh, yeah. Yeah, because there's a schoolhouse, schoolhouse rock right there. Sands right over there. You just you're just waiting for me to aren't you? Oh no, you're just having a cigarette. Smoke break. Oh, we got a wrench. I could use that probably. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's that's everything around here in uh, Good Springs. That's good that it's all around. I don't have to travel the end of the world. <laughs> and get sand. This should be everything. Yep. Now let's craft the wonder dove. You said you got a workbench inside, Doc? Alright. Let's see. Is it over here? Yep. Oh, yeah, let's actually uh, recycle some energy cells, too. Definitely want to do that. Probably make quite a few. Adobe. It only got me five energy cells out of the recycling, but that's all right. As my survival gets better and I can craft more, I will do that. And I really do not need that many radios, man. This medical clip right here. No, it, ain't worth, it ain't worth stealing. <laughs> hey, hey, Paul. Or, or Dean, who, who am I talking to? Which one? Dean. Dean! It looks like Paul's had you busy on another one of his harebrained projects. Yeah, you can't say tell that. you how many of those I've been on. Which is it this time? Um, yeah, you, you're gonna. We're gonna tear out the windows and seal up the walls with the Wonder Adobe. Wonder Adobe? Uh -huh. huh. I'm just wondering if this is going to work. Guess we'll see. Now about I take that tire iron and hammer. And you keep the sledge to bust up the big stuff, huh? You get all the fun. Anyway, we can use these nails and tack up those wood slats as backing for the plaster. Hey, you want to race? Last one there's a rotten, um, rotten... Wait, I don't think that turned out just right. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Um, oh. A winner is you. All right. Uh, whoa, whoa, slow, slow down, slow down. You ready for this? Hope so, cause it's gonna be a lot of work. Yeah, I'm ready. Sledgehammer window. Just pretend that window's the fella that shot you in the head and beat the shit out of it. 
It ought to be good to let out that built-up tension you got. Can't blame you too much for that, though. Well, let's get to work. Sounds good. I am all for busting up some windows. Let's see here. Walls rule. <laughs> you and Dean make one hell of a team. First, you use the sledgehammer, and Dean uses a tire iron to remove the old window frames to get the studs in the wall. You then use the nails Dean found up, found to nail up the wood slats to serve as backing to th for the Wonder Adobe. No Wonder Adobe truly was a wonder, as it smoothly filled in the spaces where the windows once were. You even came up with the great idea of using an old broom to brush up the finish for a nice seal. Why, well, I, I do believe I am quite brilliant. The old chalkboard from behind the school worked perfectly to close up and seal the other windows. That should make things more weather tight and keep the Mojave outside where it belongs. You even helped Dean set up some temporary lighting. Don't forget to speak with Dean again so you continue with the rest of the work on the school. All right. Sweet. All right, Dean. Say, you're pretty handy with that sledgehammer. I sure am. Um, yeah, that wall's turned out pretty good. Yeah, that wonder Adobe actually worked. Unbelievable. <laughs> Might have to find some other uses for you later on. Paul should be real happy with these walls now. This place is sealed up almost as good as new. No critters, no dust, real nice. That's a fine piece of work, my friend. Here's your tie iron back and a little something you might be able to put to use sometime. I put these together with some old junk I had laying around. I'm heading back over to the shop for now. Oh, one other thing. Give Paul this note about the wiring in this place for me, will ya? Okay, the wiring the tire iron. And then what, what was it? Ah, some weapon repair kits. Oh, I do appreciate that. Oh, this did. This certainly did turn out nicely. Hmm. Yeah, alright, we are moving right on along. Alright, Paul. Um. Another cigarette break, really, dude? You, you need to you need to calm down with that stuff. Too many of them. Don't need to do them every two minutes. That is a big old cigar. We were all amazed to hear the doc pulled you through. Good to see you among the living. Was there something I can help you with? Um, yeah, the windows they're uh, they're done. Damn fine job on those windows and walls. And Dean was able to get a look at the wiring too. Outstanding. Uh huh. I was really needing this assessment of the wiring so I can start designing the power system for it. I want it to be totally off the grid. But that'll take a while. Anyway, want to see what's next? Um, yeah, might as well. Did you wonder what that old terminal was good for? Well, it turns out I found a program on an old holotape I bought. I was picking the program apart, and I believe it came from one of those old vaults around here. Seems it'll interface with your pit boy and log what you're carrying in the inventory and sort it all out for you. It's called SIMS, or Computer Inventory Management System. Alright, um, you kind of need power for that, right? Yes, and we probably won't have the power on for a while, but there's still other things we need to do for this system to function. Besides that pit boy of yours and the terminal I'm fixing, we still need the storage containers it uses to stow your gear. I already have a few outside, you've probably seen them, but there's more we need to complete the system's requirements. Here, I got it all written down for you on this note. Will you see how many of these you can find? Alright, find some more stuff. Uh, six lockers. Was it? Uh, let's read the note. Doing a lot of, doing a lot of your, uh, your, your fetching, I noticed. Let's see, wiring note. Paul. Yeah, wiring and all that stuff. Okay. Sims, note, let's see. So I need six mini vault lockers. 
Uh, check around rubble piles of the McCain houses around town and up by the Poseidon Station. I also check by the Good Springs Cave as well, which is on the left heading down the main road. Look out for the coyotes. Alright. Uh, toolboxes. Amazingly, I can find them in the beds of old pickup trucks. Makes sense. And the med kits. One at the Lone Wolf Radio Station and abandoned campers down by the source. And to find Lone Wolf, Lone Wolf Radio, go south from the source, but keep looking uphill and to the west. You'll find the abandoned camper on the hill a few hundred yards south by southwest from the source. Alright. Yeah, looks like we're going to go find some lockers and some med kits and some toolboxes. I think I can handle that.